Hi there, so in this one we're going to build a, uh, a little knife handle. The first thing that I'm going to want to do is throw some reference on the workspace. So I'm going to go to Insert and then in, uh, Attached Canvas. This is a side view that we're going to be starting with, so I'm going to select the, uh, the side work plane and we'll go to the Select Image button here and grab our little knife ref. And you can see it's kind of rotated the wrong way, it's no big deal. I'll just go ahead and rotate that so that it's correct. And then I'm going to click the, uh, the right button here. And what I want is for my knife to be in real space, like the dimensions to be accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and modify my reference so that it is actually uh, the correct scale. And the way you do that is by going to Canvas and then select your knife ref. Do a right click on it and go to Calibrate. So this will allow me to click points on the reference. And let's say I want this thing to be 6 inches long. It'll go ahead and scale the reference so that it is in fact 6 inches long. Now there's an additional thing that, about this that's pretty cool, and this applies to uh, all dimensions. If I wanted to, say, move some uh, equal distance from the origin or whatever, uh, what I could do is a little bit of math. So I could say 12 inches divided by 2. So it'll do those kinds of operations for you, and you'll end up with the same result. So now what I'm going to do is make a sketch. So we'll go to Sketch, Create Sketch, and select the uh, side work plane here. And we're going to just kind of make this handle shape, and we're going to do it by using splines. So I'm just going to kind of roll around and take my best guess at all of the points that I'm going to need for this form. And they're all going to be splines, so this should look pretty familiar. Let me hit OK there. We can come in and kind of tighten these edges up. Try to get this uh, this curvature a little bit more accurate. And I'll just do a very quick little pass at this. And you may have some issues where what you have selected doesn't actually match the reference as far as like the, the number of points that you've added. So if you did need to add additional points, it's very easy. All you need to do is, uh, let's see, I'll put one right here. I'm going to uh, go to right click, sorry, uh, right click on the edge, go to, uh, let's see, insert spline fit point. And then you just click on your spline wherever you want there to be a new point. We'll say OK. And now you can very easily continue to tune your spline. So let me just kind of tighten this in a little bit. And yeah. Well, that's fine. So I'll go ahead and hit uh, Stop Sketch. So on this knife, it's a little bit tricky to see. Let me hide my sketch for just a moment. It's kind of a little bit rounder on the front and flatter on the back. So to get that profile, what we're going to do is we're going to create a surface by uh, drawing some, some curves and then lofting a surface between those curves. So let's go ahead and do that and make a new sketch. So we'll do a Create Sketch, and I'm going to click on the uh, this work plane here. And we will make more splines now. And it doesn't have to be particularly perfect at this stage of the game. So I could make more splines and then move them, or I can just kind of copy this one. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to go ahead and select the spline. Now, if you want to copy splines, this is a thing that, that folks typically have, have uh, questions about. Uh, it's, it needs to be done in an edit uh, sketch. Uh, this is for actually copying any sketch, not just splines. Uh, and then you just say uh, Control C and Control V on the keyboard, and it will give you a little move icon, and you can go ahead and clone one out. So I'm actually going to delete this one and kind of get this somewhat better positioned and uh, scaled here. So that's my center line. I definitely want to be on this side of the center line so I have a flat top there that I can kind of work with. And you can come over and sort of move some of the points around or do whatever. And it's a little bit tricky to see in ortho mode here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter on that. I'm still in edit sketch mode. Let's see if I can get my camera figured out here. There we are. So I'm going to say uh, uh, Control C, Control V on the keyboard, and we'll go ahead and move this piece out. And I think I'm actually going to hide the canvas so I get a little bit of a better idea what's going on. And we can move it and rotate. And I want it to get a little bit flatter as we progress down the chain here. So 
I'll grab that bend part and scoot it in. And then another control C and control V. And probably this one can be out here somewhere. And we'll do a little rotate. Hit enter, and I'm gonna grab this point. Actually, we'll flatten it first. So we'll go to move, and just kind of bend that in. And I'm gonna scoot this guy that way a little bit, so I get a little bit of a tapering towards the back there. All right. So I've got my three sketch curves. I can hit stop sketch, and then you can see them right there. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is do a little press pull on this and we'll do symmetric and pull it out some distance. And then I'm going to make a, uh, a form here because to, to do that loft is a form operation. And we'll go to loft and I'll just grab these three curves and you can see it'll begin to build that surface out and that surface has that curvature that we were kind of looking for there. So I'll hit OK and finish form. So it looks like there's there are some issues with the uh, the, the penetration kind of not going uh, through all the way and uh, far enough forward. So I'm actually going to back up and we'll just edit this uh, one more time. I'm going to go to the sketch, grab the sketch curves. We'll do an edit sketch. Now this unfortunately the uh, the form will not update. Uh, let me go ahead and turn the first sketch back on. So we'll need to make a new form, but that's pretty simple. So I'm just going to scoot that up so that it very clearly goes beyond the uh, the first sketch. Okay. So we'll hit stop sketch. I'm going to delete the original form there. We'll make a new form. Go to loft. Grab our curves hit OK and we'll go to finish form and you can see the position of this outside curve is still just a little bit too far so I think the easy solution here is I'm just going to actually scoot this piece out a little bit further okay and that would probably a, be a pretty chunky knife handle but you could obviously go in there and noodle that a little bit more so now I need to basically replace this face with this face and then get it onto the other side so the very simple way to do that is go to Modify, Replace Face. So this is the face that we want to replace. And this is our replacement there. And I can hit OK. So it's gone ahead and replaced this uh, flat surface with this curve now, this curved surface. So I'm going to go ahead and hide. Let me expand my body so here. I can hide the, uh, the shell. And that's what we're left with. So now I need to get it to the other side. I'm going to go to Modify. Sorry, uh, this is a Create and then mirror. I'm going to grab the piece that I want to mirror and in this case it's going to be the pattern face, not the whole thing. And turn my origin back on so I can see my my, my center plane there. So I'll go to mirror plane and do a left mouse button, hold down, select work plane and hit OK. And there you go. I'll go ahead and, and uh, replace those faces and now you should be able to come in. We'll do a, a uh, fill it on this, grab this edge and this edge, and round it off. I'll hide my sketches so we can take a look at what we got. 